A year ago, I took on the challenge to create an interconnected world filled with farms and builds of all kinds. And well, today I want to finish this project off by creating one last factory, a chocolate factory, housing its very own chocolate lake. If you're as excited as I am for this episode, leave a like and maybe consider subscribing as I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I ran over to the storage and grabbed a few shulkers filled with dirt and stone. And to start some custom terrain, I want to change the side of the river to give myself a little more room. I'm focusing here on leaving about two blocks between the water and the first elevation change, where we can, after bringing it up yet another couple of blocks, start working on a cliffside to get up to the height I want the chocolate factory. I'm happy with the cliff for now, but I'm out of dirt, so back to the storage to stock up on that. And then right back to continuing on the terraforming, trying to smooth out the terrain above the cliffside. And well, you can see where I've terraformed this, there's no grass on the terraformed parts. And I do want to add in a little chocolate lake over here, but I'm going to wait until I get the factory in to finish that off. And well, I have a little more love to give this here, but I'll do that in a bit, as I very much want to do some building. So let's throw together a few materials. First, making a stop at the lumber mill to grab up some jungle, before making my way back down to the storage where I want to craft up some cast iron blocks. Now, before we head back to the chocolate factory, I need to just run over here to where I have some copper oxidizing. I'm going to need to turn some of this one stage down, and I need about four, which is why I have four honeycomb, which we can just grab up a little fast. Then, with a stone cutter, turn that into some slabs. Where I now want to take these blocks we'll gather up here, and, well, I, I got to do some digging. With the area cleared here now, I'm thinking we are going to start in the corner here and work our way outwards as well. That over there is going to be where the front of the chocolate factory is. Uh, we need something behind this, of course. So starting ourselves off with our jungle logs here before we work ourselves into some planks, building up this first room. And my thought for this back room here is definitely going to be a sort of train station as well. I forgot something in my dye factory and um, that is brown dye. The, the factory can make brown dye, but uh, it, it's not. So I need to export some cocoa beans from this factory over to that. So I quickly just want to take this floor here, mine that away and change it out for some deep slates. Then on the front here where the train is going to enter, I'm thinking, no, that's not what I'm thinking at all because I don't have enough for that. I'm thinking we do some spruce support up here to round it off a little bit. And then we use some trap doors on each side, one at the top and down the other side as well. Just make a little nicer arch there. And then before we head upwards in this build here, I want to add in a little bit of a terrain stop here at the end as I want to get some tracks in here in just a little bit. But we just need to extend these up. Let's see if I remember how to build one of these. I've literally used this since the first time time I built one of them and I still think they look great. Up here I'd like to extend a metal girder beam along this side. There isn't enough space on the other side and maybe I should have put that wall one more into the wall. One more into the wall. Good words. But that's a little too late now. I will however get a few deployers in across down here before we can extend in a few more up here as this is going to act as our garage door or well a door to the train place. I guess it's a garage door. Just sounds a little too modern. But with that in, let's start working on our roof here. For this, using that cast iron that we crafted up earlier. And that's looking great, but I did grab up that copper here that I want to extend up across the top to make it a little nicer or a little bit of variation in there at least, which I think looks great. And then I want to add in this final little bit of detail. And while these definitely look a little odd at the moment, I think they're going to look really good once we get the rest of the factory in, which now I've really limited myself here with the space I've got, extending it out to, well, here. So eh, it's a fair bit of space. It, it should be enough, right? We, we shouldn't have any issues with space. Before we work on the rest of the factory, though, I want to head over here to our train station or train yard and grab up some train tracks. And I think two stacks is going to be enough as well. Oh my god, it's a half building. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're going to add that in running this way. And I have a schematic cannon prep, which I actually have a couple of blocks that I didn't break. We'll get, we'll get this situated first. I want this running into the mountain here as well. We have a tunnel entrance right here. So so why don't we just connect another train to that curve right there and run it up here? It should work, right? 
Okay, I think that should work. Let's go ahead and get our drill. We are definitely going to destroy the tunnel a bit, but I'm going to try to minimize that by probably activating it around here. Okay, and I will make it through. Perfect. Gotta be a little careful here on the exit. So I don't want to break the factory we just built. Oh, well, part of it. A few torches here to light it up a little temporarily because I don't want any mobs running out at me. But that's definitely going to work. I need to decorate the tunnel. But chocolate factory first. Yep. Definitely not putting that off. Nope. But with the tunnel dug out, I ran over to the storage and grabbed my two shulker boxes with the materials for the train and got that built by the schematic cannon. And well, here we have the train. And if you just hop in here and sit ourselves down and then we can park it up. So that train is just going to sit here now. And well, we can eventually load that up with cocoa beans from the factory of course yes yes but before we continue with the chocolate factory i i want to address this 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 is bringing me pain i know this can look so good it just needs a little bit of love so the first thing i want to do to it to make it look a little better is definitely going to be overhanging the dirt a little bit above the cliffside that definitely looks better. It's a little rough, I won't lie. I've done cliffs like this in the past, but I, 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 I've kind of forgotten how I used to do them, so I've got to learn again, but I don't think it's bad. Next up here, I do want to take some mud, however, down here at the bottom of the river to just change that out. So I want to try some new things here with the terraforming for my future worlds. As well, I really, really enjoy terraforming, and uh, I think this is a great project area because it's kind of out of the way, and I can, I can have a little test ground here where I can add in some mud at the river base for example and well i'm gonna end it off round about here i would love to extend it around the whole island but i just don't have the time to do it sadly definitely one of those projects i should have started a little earlier in the world but here i am and what will you do about it and well we'll end it up over here so it's basically just covering the cliff and i think that's fine just adding in those two things to the cliff and the riverside here added a lot but i think i want to come in with a little bit of vegetation to kind of finish this area off. When I felt done terraforming by the river, I set my sight on the terrain beside the train track as that was looking a little rough. And walking down the path here of the brand new terraforming, this backside looks a lot better now. Still need to add in a little bit of detail here on the crossing and connect it up to the pathway down there. But I also went ahead and finished the tunnel, decorating that up so that it wasn't just an ugly mess. But I want to continue working on the chocolate factory now. And I've actually prepared this little box of goodies here and a schematic cannon that I'm just going to go ahead and turn on. And this is going to be building the basement of the chocolate factory. Okay, yeah, that, there we go. I don't know why it stopped. But this is going to be building the basement which is well below here um uh it looks a little scuffed but i hope i hope it's doing what it should be oh we're actually starting to see some of the basement it's it's a complete mess down here and um i don't think i'm even gonna add an entrance it's it's just gonna work okay it's it's just gonna work i don't i don't even want to look at it i, I don't even want to think about it but there's a whole lot of different things here for example this is gonna be our sugar which is gonna get crushed up into well sugar from sugar cane this here is gonna be our bread to make sweet rolls this here is honeyed apples no that one is the apples and this is honey to get the honeyed apples i think that's the four inputs i have down here sugar wheat honey and apples and well it isn't firing anymore so i think it's done i just have to hook up these shoots the power over here another shoot a fluid pipe as long as i hook all of that up the correct way i should be fine and the whole factory should work hopefully or well we we have to build the rest of the factory that actually assembles everything but to do that we're gonna need some materials and well the first on my list is actually not gonna be in the storage room as i need to head to my desert and i'm looking for a mushroom island biome and i think the only place i've spawned it in my world is south of this desert what on earth is this why is there a tree in the ocean <laughs> okay well we're on the right track at least yep there it is okay perfect it's a really small island if i remember correctly but i don't need a lot from it i just i just need some mycelium I don't need much of it. This should definitely make do. And if I just place these into the crafting table like this, we should get four stacks of salt blocks. And this is going to be our roof for the factory. Might sound a little weird, but I think it's going to work. Oh, every time I fly back into this island here, I love it so much. I've also just embraced calling it an island. I don't really know why, but it feels fitting. However, I do want to turn the salt blocks here into slabs. Then flying over to the lumber mill for the second time today, where of course I want to craft up some wood supplies.
quick stop over in the city to just grab a few stacks of bricks before running around in my storage room for a bit, gathering up the last couple of blocks. Stop interrupting! materials all here over at the factory and i think we should get right into the factory building up some walls using a new mix of blocks going from stripped spruce through dirt variants all the way to bricks with the walls in i want to head over here to the far side where i want to start stacking up some andesite pillars up to this height we need a two block gap before we get another one in one block this one can go maybe two blocks higher and then we'll go over another two blocks looking at this here for a second let's take this one up one more block and these two up another one as well and then between these here i want to get in some cut andesite until we get up to this height here where we can kind of make this into 30 podiums or platforms where I on all of these want to extend up three andesite train halls adding in a small little decoration sheet metal here at the bottom to give them a little more support and then extending those train halls up up here i want to add in a temporary block before we can get some of our half slabs here then a campfire and extend up two trapdoors above that before of course repeating this on the two other smokestacks Then back down here on ground level, I want to start working up a staircase using some catwalks here to turn that around, extending it up. Let's see, one more block here before we can get a little bit of a catwalk in right here. And I forgot the door, but we can go ahead and run through the factory to quickly grab that. And there we go, we'll fix- Whoa! I, that scared me! Or so I done over there now, I want to extend up another one of these platforms. Then on top of this, again with our train hulls, this time it's not smokestacks, it's going to be some tanks, which we can get sheet metal on top of that, then bring in some pipes, no wait, bring in pipes upwards, into the middle, and continuing that up, one more, and we can bring it across here on this mud, all the way over to here where we get a sheet metal in, and I think we need to address this hole, where down here want to get in two chutes on these blocks, actually we'll only do one right here as we extend up two girders, and then another chute, we get a few more girders in right over here before we do our first shoot and let's bring up two industrial iron blocks on top of this before extending some cast iron across between these then on top of this foundation here i've laid i want to start getting some diorite in bringing ourselves up a couple of blocks on top of this i want to bring back a classic roof that we've been doing in this world with some stairs right here at the bottom or we transition into some slabs extending that of course into our wall because well we wouldn't want to hold in our roof would we and with some windows and details in i think the side is looking pretty good well at least the first story um basement needs a little bit of work and second story definitely needs work but before we do get working on that second story i want to pop around to the front and add in an entrance using that diorite mix again and adding some details such as another tank and some letters on the wall well, with the outside at least half done, maybe I want to move on to the inside. As I want to get some create components rolling. So first up, extending up our floor over here where I have to leave some holes. Let's see. Three stairs and some more deep slate. This is where I want to make the chocolate over in this little mess. To do that though, we're going to need a few things. One of them being milk. So I want to add in a giant fluid tank up here. Leaving one hole there at the bottom because I do want to bring a pipe out, of course. Then we just take some fluid tanks, extending this up, let's say, four blocks. Let's see, bringing this up one block, some depots right here. We need a blaze burner before we can get out, let's see, a basin on top of that. Removing the side of that. And then let's get some funnels inputting in there. And this is basically the chocolate input. So we're going to get sugar and cocoa beans on these two here from fans in the basement. Then milk from that. And with the whisk and the blaze burner right below there, we're going to get chocolate, which we can pump upwards. And I'm thinking we want that to go out there, in over there, and into a tank in the corner. So let's go ahead and get this built. Oh. 
All right, let's see. So chocolate comes over to this tank here. Let's get ourselves a barrel, two item drains, and then bringing out a depot I have on me here and placing that there. Over here, I'm thinking we're going to maybe be making our chocolate bars, which means that we need a basin right here. And then if we grab a spout, we get that up here where we can... Oh, never mind. We get that up there. There we go. Where we can glaze berries. And what else could you do with chocolate? I, I guess we could fill a bucket. Then to create the chocolate bars, we're going to need a metal press right up here. Hooking this up through let's see one of those there and there then we can bring this one up one more nope no not not there one more there if we go ahead here and get some pipes down we can get one of those that's going to enter into there and that will go in there perfect connecting up a few things here everything here should work now if i give it power and well have the inputs we have no milk we have no cocoa beans we have no sugar um yeah the, the honey apple machine is also right behind me but we don't have any apples nor honey it is, it's, this is going great. But not to worry, I will get back to this in just a second. But I want to take a short little break. As well, I need a way off this island. I am quickly running out of space here. So I'm heading over to the end of the farming district to build up a bridge so that we can take a train off this island. Well, at least I have a bridge. Um, Yeah, the terrain is not looking great though, I will admit. But the bridge goes to uh, nowhere. I, I can kind of leave the island at least. Um, I'll, I'll make the, I'll, I'll make it longer. I swear. I promise. And also fix the train, of course. Uh, just um, chocolate factory calls. Back at the chocolate factory here. Let's continue working on a few things. And the first one is definitely we're going to have to sort out our cocoa bean situation. So let's extend across some spruce support here. That gives ourselves a little bit of support. Might even, yeah, we're going to remove that. Then if we get up here, I want to start with our jungle log. I see three blocks out from the wall. Extend this across to three blocks there. And then we can extend this upwards. Let's see how much log we have. We can probably get it up another two blocks here. Yep, there we go. Then let's get ourselves our cocoa beans. And let's go ahead and get them in right now. There's no reason not to. And I need a few more to fill this out. As it won't be planting them automatically. But it will be harvesting them. Heading up here. Let's first of all place two encased chain wires right there. Before we get our gantry shafts. And extend that across over over to this point i believe under this we can get our carriage in extending down four linear chassis then we're gonna need a barrel on the bottom of that or if we can even use more scaffolding here we'll get some mechanical harvesters out because this is well, what we need to harvest the cocoa beans which we can place on the side going all the way up to that point yep then we should only need to glue this bottom bit. This that's linear chassis. So that should stick to it. And that's just going to go across and back here and harvest our cocoa beans. So we're going to need something here to tell you when to do this. So first adding in a floor of copycat panels. As I really like this up here in the like rafters of the factory. Then let's get a gear shift in right there. Getting ourselves my shulker out here. Let's see. Let's place a deep state block there. Then I'm going to need a torch, redstone dust. Let's see. Pulse extender set to let's say a minute then another one facing this direction also set to a minute then we lap some redstone dust connecting to that thing and then three redstone dust here should activate it which deactivates the torch then once this timer is up that deactivates this redstone which sets this one minute timer off which then when that turns off will activate the circuit again and the, the, it will switch back and forth i'm actually really really proud of this redstone can you tell and stepping down and adding this little thing here which is a vault for the cocoa beans then let's see so we have a chute going down to the basement which brings it over to the chocolate mixer then some drains here on the back rolling it over and well as you can see on this side into the train which we can transport over to the dye factory to get ourselves our brown dye and looking at this wall up here it looks like some of these are ready for harvest so let's just go ahead and do that and maybe we can fill it up there we go now that just needs power and that should work which means well we have the first component of chocolate the, the first oh, oh boy well i guess we technically have sugarcane as well with just not bringing it over here right now but before i go ahead and fix that i want to grab my shulker boxes here and head up to the roof as well i want to finish off the building and the milk part which is at the top of the building first thing we can do here is stack up some polished limestone here on the edges up to the top down on the other side then my cilium on the bottom layer right here before we can bring out some copycat steps put that in our offhand and let's extend this across the front of this Thank you. 
now that we have the first part of our roof in, I want to start adding in some walls for a third story. And with our roof on there, let's just get some windows in right here. And I want to grab these andesite bars over here and let's see, let's remove that. Stand this up, one, two, three, out on every single side. And then one more top as a little detail. I think it looks really good. Then I've just got some random pipes over here to add in that, at least going down into there. That one won't be functional. The one that will be is the one over here, which will go straight down and into the milk tank. Which, why don't we just open that up a little bit so that we can see the milk flowing in there? Now we need to build the milk part on the inside. Now, on the inside here, let's head up to this part where I want to add in a beam of this. Of course, breaking that block, adding that there because I need to bring the power across. Then, if we hop down on the fluid tank here, let's just add in the copycat panels to again extend in a floor for us to stand on up here. Thinking about this, this might get a little cramped. So, let's get this bl one block down here instead and with our platform in i want to get the create components placed down I think the final thing here is just going to be a deployer facing this way. And on this one funnel on that side, one on that side, this one's going to be inputting. Then to make sure that no buckets just fly away. Let's actually wait. Hold up. Let's do that a little nicer. We can flip that around. And um, no, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Extend that up. I did not know you could apply those there, but I guess the more you know. Then we can do that instead. That's going to look a little better. And then some filters. Well, we are actually only going to need one filter which is on a milk bucket and that's going to be on that one. Yeah, that one is already only going to have buckets. That's fine. And I actually have five buckets just sitting on me. So I'm just going to throw those in there and they will go into the system once it turns on. So let's see here. So place a weight stained glass there. Then two supports on either side and one back here. Uh, these make them bigger there. And I'm going to have to get a cow in here. But before, let's just add in the front panel, I feel like is a smart idea. And that will also cover with glass. All right, now it's just have to find a cow but before i do that i'm gonna have to repair my light drop it's almost about to break on me so let's just fly over to the city Ooh, okay that's a roof where we can head into our masons and i should have some emeralds here and if we just trade some quartz with these guys quickly i feel like my light just should be repaired here uh, almost just one more yeah, perfect. Now, cows. I think I've killed all of the animals on this hill right here. I think I'm going to have to look on the other side of the river, even. Maybe up on this hill. Oh, there's one. There is one. Little lone cow. Come on, buddy. You're going to be um, stuck in a factory forever. Yeah. Producing milk constantly. Whoa. I know, right? You're excited. At least I'm excited. I, I want chocolate. Lucky for me, this build is built into the side of a mountain or hill at least. So I should just be able to place these three blocks here and we should be up there. Now, how would the easiest way for me to do this? Maybe get up on the actual roof roof. Okay. Up on the final roof here. Let's see. Is it this block? Ah, almost. Oh. This one. Should just be able to drop you in there, right, buddy? Get the lead off you and then... Yes, okay, perfect. And that should be everything here, actually. I added in this little spot here to make the sweet rolls from that weighted ejector. And I think that's it. I just need to power it, then it should all work, minus that we don't have all of the inputs. While the factory itself is now working, if we give it some power, I just want to pop up to the roof real quick to add in a chocolate side. And that just finishes off the exterior so well. But now I really, really want to hook this up. So do we have, okay, 87 shafts, that's a little low. And while we're flying back here, I just want to quickly show this build off. I actually finished off the cave here, added in a little Midas River, I think Chad was calling it, over in a stream a few weeks ago here. And I really, really love it. It, it, it needed to be done. I, I pushed it off for way, way too long. But that little distraction aside there, yep, we have a lot of shafts. Of course, should definitely be enough. And the closest would definitely be the lumber mill, but the lumber mill does not have the sufficient power. So we're going to have to take it from here, I think. But this isn't spinning because, oh, right. 
shaped as this. Okay. But what I should be able to find somewhere in the wall in here is a cave. Okay. And yeah. Okay. Here this is. And I should just be able to take some power from right here. So this should be hooked up to the steam power plant. So we'll flip that down. And then let's take ourselves downwards. Okay. I think this is far down enough. Then bringing out at least one gearbox here as we just flip that around. And then off in this direction we go. I hope this is the right way actually. Ooh. Wait. That's going to be an issue I think. Or well. Um. Yeah, we can cut by there. If we just grab some andesite casing here to cover it up as well. But this shows that we're right on the right path at least. So that's nice. And okay, perfect. We're going to go past this. And if we go this direction. Yes. Okay. So this is probably around here where we want to hook it up. So we need to take it up one block with the, uh, what is it called? The rotation thing. The rotation speed controller. There we go. Get that in. Two of those in there. And then one of these in here. That is spinning the correct way. Okay, cool. Um, Everything's spinning the correct way. Everything's spinning. Okay. And now we just speed it up. Um, oh, something's happening. Bread is being created. Uh, which also means that the loader worked, right? Is there honey in here? There's honey in there. I mean, it feels like everything's working. Oh, oh no, oh no. We're getting, we're getting milk. Um, okay. We're getting milk in the chocolate tank and we can see the outside. Um, okay. We are getting milk though. And we have sugar and we actually have cocoa beans. We just don't have any, the thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need a filter on this though. So let me just grab some cocoa beans and sugar, a bucket of milk, and let's fire with my storage to get that hooked up. Hooked up? What am I talking about? I just need to throw some milk in here. Then is it one cocoa bean, one sugar, and some heat? There we go. Chocolate buckets. And with our chocolate bucket here, let's just put that on there, which means that we can't get any milk into the tank, or well, at least not more than we already have. Luckily, I don't think it's too hard of a fix if we just take away the tank. There we go. It's empty now. And we can just fill the bottom back in. Oh, right. Uh, all of this has milk in it as well. Oh, great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right now, you might be wondering why I have sugar, wheat, and all that in the system. But that's actually because I did go ahead and hook this up and the terrain schedule to get this over here. I just got to get under the ground down here where I have a little system to load it with hopefully not too many items. It doesn't work as I had planned because, well, there's a um, there's a terrain up here that doesn't take them. Anyways, this is a loader that should, well, only load eight stacks of each item now before it would have been four. Just because I know for a fact I'd have more sugar cane and honey blocks than I would, for example, wheat. And I didn't want to just fill up the train completely with that. But I also could have just used two boxes on the trains and I could have probably just skipped all of this. With the factory now being powered up, I had to make one more input here, being charcoal so that we can actually get some chocolate. Okay, so coal is definitely hooked up because we're creating chocolate and we have been for a little bit because I have bars of chocolate. Oh, yes. I also went ahead and hooked up the apples over from the lumber mill, which means we are now getting honeyed apples. And that's, I think, everything in here working. The cocoa beans are a little slow. We are getting chocolate and well... We have used a lot of chocolate, but I need this to fill up a little more because I have a lake to fill. Because of course, we, we need a chocolate lake. So let's grab up these chokers here. And while we wait for that to work, I need to do a little bit of terraforming. Because, well, I kind of built this bridge and then just, um, yeah, it looks great. So to fix this ugly mess here, I want to start off with making some markers to get a visual idea of how I want this terrain to look. Then with some markers giving me an idea for the feel of this terrain, I went ahead and filled it all in. And well, spending this little time here was so worth it. I have a few friends here, but I added in some mud along the river bottom right here. And I also extended all the way over to the rice farm over there, which I really, really love. And well, I've kind of decided that I'm going to do this all the way around the island. But well, this is the last episode, so I'm just going to do that because for my own satisfaction. Oh, ouch. Um, but since this is the last episode, it also means there's a word download in my Discord, which you can find in the description below. But we're not done yet because we still have a little more work to do right over here. And the first of that is definitely going to be seeing if we have chocolates. Right. I, I was a little too far away, maybe. So let's just speed up the process here by running over to our bone farm and grabbing a few stacks of bones so that we can make some bone meal and get some more cocoa beans. Okay, all of those are grown up at least now that should give us a bunch of cocoa beans. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this should be filling up our chocolate tank here quite well. Nice. Okay, I'm going to leave this for a little bit more and let's get ourselves a pathway in because I need to hook that up to down there and the door.
Now back in storage real quick here to grab two iron sheets. We can also grab, let's see, four spruce palisades. And I need one more spruce plank. Flip the storage around twice here and get ourselves some orange dye right over in this box. And craft up some orange decal. Just get in some warning signs here for the train, which we should definitely hook up here. Just got to get those in. That, that, and one of those. Just like we have down there and over at the other two stops. And this should be the schedule we need in here. So let's just go ahead and flip that trapdoor down, give that to you, and you can head off. And are you going to stop? Is the other train... Where's the other train at? Okay, no, the other train is not in the station. You should go there, then you should back up and arrive over here. Yep, there it is. Connect up to this one and, well, that one as well, but connect up to that one. Get loaded by everything here. Once that feels like it's done over there, it should head back to the factory with no worries and unload that. And that should be everything working at the factory and automated. And, well, maybe we have enough chocolates. We have 43 buckets. Yeah, I think that might work. Let's see. Let's grab some copper stuff. I've got a few buckets here, which we can just put under here. And those will get filled up with chocolate. So this is exciting. I'm going to probably have to fix the foundation a little bit as we're mixing a few blocks but there 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 and there and then we can get some cheat stairs around that oh the train is returning perfect that all the way around and then we put some chocolate right in the middle oh this is gonna oh this is gonna flow far um uh buddy and i guess since you can't see through it it won't matter if this lake is one block deep or not so um i'm just gonna make it one block deep definitely not deception here and um now i gotta fill this with chocolates And the final box of chocolate here to fill out the lake. It definitely looks interesting and I definitely think it fits the building. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep it. It's also not the fact that I spent like an hour filling it. It, it took so long, but mainly because I was out of chocolate. There's one little more thing I want to add here on the far side, which is going to be a little pathway leading down to the river. Just slithering our way down here to around about this point where I just want to bring out a little bit of a pier. That's what they're called. I uh, definitely didn't forget that in the last episode, but a wooden pier here is probably what this should be called or would be called some spruce right out here at the end just to give it a little bit of support open that off with some trap doors and then we can get in a few more trap doors in here to just add in a little bit of detail and then we have a little pathway up to the factory not sure what this would be used for but hey if you want to take a little bit of a break from working on the factory or working at the factory you can go down and fish down here so, well back up at the chocolate factory i feel like it has finally reached its ending product here we're making chocolate right over in this barrel over here which is why we don't have any in the tank but that's working its way up and will continue as this goes back and forth the train here is picking up and leaving items perfect and with the outside fully decorated that brings this final project of the world to a close and well, I think it's time for me to leave this world. Flying past the lumber mill, back over the mountain, around past the iron farm that started it all, over to my storage building. At the front here, I've pulled up a train that's ready for me to go. And this is my fluid train that I've just revamped a little bit, and I'm gonna place, let's see, let's get some of these down here in the middle. And I'm gonna get my toolboxes out, and we can place those right here, because I gotta bring these along with me, you know? There we go, a few more toolboxes loaded up here with some junk from the storage that we can bring into the next world and well i think we're ready to say goodbye so let's go ahead and hop on board here and i don't have any train station or anything set up so i guess i'll be driving passing out of our train yard heading around through our train station over here and here we are passing by the farming district over towards the bridge and well we have a train track on the other side and who knows where it will take me where on earth am i <laughs> 